right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Wet Lines. You join me and Baker down here at Mousehole Fishing Lakes. All right, let's go and see what people are up to. You know what? I didn't get myself any more backleads. An absolute backlead head. How are we doing, Tom? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm very good, thanks. Yeah. No, no more backleads, you say, no? No, I forgot to get some. I totally forgot about it. Absolute amateur over here. It's a nightmare. Um, yeah. To be honest, that's the kind of thing I don't even check. I just hope I have them. <laughs> we'll soon You've got to do out. these pre-checks before you, before you come fishing. Yeah. Especially like for five days. Yeah, well, well, you know. You know? We've got the TV ready, so that's all that matters. Yeah. Well, you've got something you'd need to watch or something today? No. No? No, just wanted to get it working, but here we are. This is a tiny swim. Any of options? Bubbles down the front there. What's what we think is straight up about standard IQD rig situation? All day long. All day. Yeah. I don't see no surfacing yet, but we you know we'll, we can play with that later. Yeah. Yeah, we can have a go at that. Yeah, that, that swan chap up there, everybody gets involved with that. Beautiful. Right, well, let's go and see what's, uh, what's going on in. Here's camp. Camp one, camp two, I don't know what you want to call this. Camera two. Wet lines. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, camera two. Scott, camera two. Scott's made his reappearance right, on wet lines. This is, this is the first car, so you're going to watch oh, the pressure now. Oh, hold up now, this is exciting. Here we go, people. Time that well. Well, that's where I'm fishing. Just where I wanted it, actually. Bring it there. <laughs> Spang on. There you go. So, I mean, a bit like myself. Nice. You ain't got no rods ready yet, like all? myself. Ah, I'm just chilling. Oh, no, I haven't even I'm got. Here for a I, week. I, haven't, I haven't even started yet. Yeah. Yeah, you got the important things sorted out, like camera number one. Well, the TV was first, but you know. <laughs> I didn't want to say. I didn't want to say that. We got the TV going. <laughs> what? A bit, of, a bit of under the hammer going on. You know, we, <laughs> yeah, on a weekday. <laughs> we've got the fire stick playing. We're, we're, ready, we're ready for the entertainment. Give me a shout when Jeremy Clark. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the view from there, swim. Very similar, but you know. I'm excited. It's been a while. Yeah, Scott's bossing this, mate. I can just feel it. He's just his aura. He's giving off. I've already, like, I've already called it. He's getting a thirty. I oh, know. You can. Oh, I can see pressure. the property. There's no pressure, mate. Already called that. And now that's on camera. You heard me say it. Scott will be getting a thirty. Oh, yeah. This guy right here. Oh, I don't know. See what happens. See what happens. <laughs> I like pressure. This is a pretty much a guarantee, Scott. I've already made it official. <laughs> oh well, that's sitting. I've got to get rid of two set up. I like your efficiency. Oh, yeah. I need a fish. Absolutely. So that's what we're working with. And then, uh, you know, I didn't point out the obvious of my swim, but we're all in the same line. It's time. At work. Love and life. Good job, Sam. And, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is my home for the week. As you can see, I'm nowhere near set up yet. I'm, uh, in no world do I rush. Uh, you know, you've got this island. You've got this island real close. So, from previous trips, I know fish like to loiter down this side here. So, we're going to be pinging a rod there, and then naturally we're just going to have one on the corner of that island there. Mate, I'm all over this. They're doing their nice breakfast you've got to say, yeah? This is the classic um, mouse hole breakfast. Two sausages, two bacon, two hash browns, plenty of mushrooms, beans, egg. Can't fault it. Looking good. Only get attacked by the dog. Dog thinks he's got a rabbit. Yeah, that's all provided here. We'll whisk that round on the old golf buggy. Deliver, deliver to your swims. Don't argue with it. Almost feels like you're staying in a, in a hotel. Room service. 
and even get a little dog just to kind of make sure it's all right. Completely complimentary. <laughs> Right, you've just seen Mick's breakfast. Just got mine, thought I'd give you a little peek of what I get. This is the quality food we get over at Mount Look at this. Lovely little breakfast roll. You've got your sausage. You've got your bacon. You've got your egg. You've got your tomato sauce. And it gets delivered to your swim. Right here, look, boom. I was meant to leave my swim. That's just the beauty of your mouth, though. Take a little tackle shot. You climb to tackle all kinds. A couple of toilets. This is one toilet. Buggies, they bring your food around on. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'll tell you what though, let's see if there's anyone in here. These are like little TARDISes. You open it up, quality is on point. You know what I mean? Proper plush. Very nice place, very nice toilets for toilets. Obviously you, you can borrow their own little trolley here or they will take your stuff, you swim in, your, in their little golf carts if you wish. Now over here, short little walk, we've got some more toilets and showers. Now let me tell you something, I used these showers yesterday. Absolutely delightful. Better than some hotels I've stayed at. A quick little peek in here. This is, this is here. We've got disabled toilets and lady showers. Alright, we won't go in there then, fair play. But you get the idea. Cheap little toilet there. Let's see if there's anybody in here, hopefully not. Nice Look at this. Look at these beauties. Proper full on shelves. Ideal. Two of them. Lovely. So if you're on a long week sesh, keeps it up nice and fresh. And over there is Cafe Lake. So yeah, facilities, you can't ask for much better. So there's what? Well there's at least two toilets around the uh, lake. There's one, you can see another little shed thing just there. That's another toilet. Much like the one round here. Surprisingly lovely for what is what looks like a shed. So when you first arrive, so you can either get them to bring your stuff if they're around in the little golf buggy over yay. Or you can borrow the Barrow of Dreams. Little net dip there. Thank you. Rally O people. Day two, nothing's going on. Try changing the rigs, try changing the positions, try changing the bait. It's not happening yet. 
We'll forecast a bit of rain later tonight, so hopefully that'll uh, spark it up a bit and we'll hopefully have a better day tomorrow. But at the minute, absolutely nothing going on. But yeah, the strange thing is, like, it's about 10 rods in the water this side with us and a few other anglers. No one's catching anything at the minute, but yet the few anglers that are opposite us on the other side of the lake are catching, you know, quite comfortably. So I haven't got a clue what's going on. As I say, it's meant to rain tonight, so hopefully uh, a rain and a nice bit of wind or whisk it round and they'll come round our side but at the minute I'm not really sure what's going on but yeah stay tuned Oh, here we go. It's only been three days. The thing is, I've been trying my best. The swan keeps trying to feed on my boilies right on the corner. Right. I've been firing biscuits out everywhere just to keep it away from it. Yeah. And then boom. My perseverance has somehow helped. But yeah, it's taken a while. Yeah. Yeah, this was like on the corner. See where them green shoots come up? Yeah. Just to the left of that, right in. Nice. Like, whatever it is, definitely went left. Yeah. Because it, it got in amongst that one. The weird thing was, I was just sitting there, and chilling, as he was. Yeah. Because I'm so not used to my alarms going off, I heard my receiver behind. Well, I heard an alarm going off. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> and then I, it, I looked at my, my bobbin and it was going back down. I was like, oh, that was oh. mine. <laughs> so what, you just... No, I just sat there and watched it for a second and it, it was still moving. I was like... Let's go. Could be some money. And what, what bait of choice was this, mate? Uh, one of the lakes, one of the owners, specific unnamed baits. Right, well, okay. And I'm not sure if it's the one with the red the little pop-up on top or it's just it. I'm not, I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's the one that's just... Well, we'll see hopefully in a sec. Just before Still on there. Hey, it may have only taken two days, <laughs> but we got a fish at last. Yes. Let's get out and have a look. Yeah, hold on. I know it's not a record breaker, but again, I do like zero my scales out, yeah? Yeah, take the sling off and all that. So, you know, people seem to doubt that we do that, but I've got no interest in not doing that. You must have flopped, mate. Uh, this here goes up in twos, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. That is old. Uh, yeah. Fifteen. Fifteen? Fifteen, yeah. Fifteen. Fifteen. It's a fish, 15. it could have been five and I'd have been at thee. Oh, well done, mate. Let's hope that they're uh, moving around this side. It's a future big one, that's play that one. Yeah. There you go, mate. Eh? 15 pound, fish number one, at last. Yeah, now I want one. Well, you let's want see. one. Let's use this as a morale booster and uh, yeah. let's find some more. Catch and release.
Nice. Beauty. Well done, mate. There we go. We're off the mark. people fortunately that's the session over with and as you can see we're in the car we're packed up we're about to leave it was a tough old session just the one fish from myself don't think we could have tried literally anything else possible you know we tried every kind of rig we could think of every time a bait we could think of zig rigs different baits different positions you know we couldn't physically move on the lake due to it being full up and restrictions to that basis and at the minute the fish just didn't seem to be outside the lake but you know you have to go through these tough sessions in life. We are either blank or you only get one, just about, and it's just not meant to be. But you know, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Try to make it as best as possible, and uh, fingers crossed the next one's a better one. Just like to give a nice little shout out there to the, the staff at Mousehole. You know, the bailiffs and the owners and that, they helped us out as much as they could. Little tips here, little, little advice, you know, the little, the little test of baits there on the go, which to be fair is what caught my fish on, so. If you do go down now so i do suggest you uh you get on their bait because the few times we've been there the best success we've had is when we've used their bait so yeah if you've enjoyed this vlog please hit that like button and subscribe and uh, fingers crossed our next session will be a better one so from me and this vlog keep those lines wet and i'll see you next time